Hello everybody. Today we are going to see how to install this kit. This USB-C kit allows you to use a USB-C in your Get Boy Advance SP. This video game console includes two connectors, the, the connector for playing multiplayer and this new one in this model is uh, for charging and for audio for both features okay if you want to change this connector you need something like this kit the kit includes the plastic cover because the USB-C connector is smaller than the original one so include the plastic cover and of course the power the board is only the USB-C because uh, why the the original video game include the battery, include the charging electronic, everything for for charging the battery because this include already this. So the board, the kit is only the USB. If we want to replace this, first we will need to remove the original connector, this one, the big one. This is a bit hard, okay? If you want to remove this and install this kit, uh, take care. Um, maybe it's better if you destroy the connector with this tool because it's a bit hard and the pads, the metallic pads in this uh, main board are a bit soft, uh, are not strong if you make too much, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, but it's easy to broken this, okay? Take care. Of course, if you have a solder iron station, you can remove in 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute is super easy. But if you have only the solder iron, like this one, it's a bit hard. So I recommend you uh, destroy the, the connector with this and then remove uh, each leg uh, one by one. Anyway, uh, because we want to solder this kit, I, I think it's better if you put the board in the place. Okay. Something like this. Because this board include uh, in the button side include uh, the tape double layer tape that you can oh, I need another tool okay now yes okay with this, with this uh, tape, you can center in the correct place. Okay. I don't know if you can see it there. The tape is more for separating both boards than for making this uh, together, okay? Because I, I'm going to show you. This board is super tiny and is uh, this was super hard to 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 design. The problem of this board, I hope you can see well. This board, uh, I have seen another board like this that allow only charging the battery, but this include the audio. So uh, we have um, the holes for the USB, one hole, two 
3 and 4. This is the ground and doesn't matter touch this uh, path from the, the video game because both of them are the ground, so are perfect. The problem is this one. This one is the audio. I don't know, I think L, the L, L channel, I'm not sure. And this one cannot touch this leg. Is the reason because you can see this red, uh, it is his uh, shoulder mask, something like this, okay, to protect that you don't put a uh, tin uh, between this leg and this one, this pad, sorry, no leg, this pad and this leg hole. Because if you join both of them, if you join both of them, this board will not work, okay. So this tape is more is more for separating the boards, and and also this this legs has a bit thin, and I cannot remove move all of them because uh, it's for keeping the USB in the place. So it's for separating the boards. Anyway, the most important is. You have to match the pads in the main board and the kit board. You can see. I hope you can. Okay. Something like this, I think, is okay. Yes. So now. Okay, now I'm going to to solder. The first thing that I'm going to do is solder both paths in the left and right to keep uh, the board in the correct place. First, I center the board using the tape. Now is the all 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 paths are in the correct position. So now I'm going to fill this hole with tin. I forgot something that maybe is important. If you have tape, okay. If you have tape, you can put here a bit, and this will help you to to don't put too much uh, tin in the hole because this cannot melt. Okay, now I'm going to fill the hole. I'm checking if the connector is well. Maybe I can move a bit. Okay, maybe bien. It's okay. And now the second hole. Okay, perfect. Now the difficult part. The difficult part are these pins. I'm going to put flux. Um, in my solder first I'm, I'm clean and okay how to be careful don't touch the any plastic more tin More flus.
I think something like this should be enough. Okay. Now we can clean with alcohol. This no, this one. this works okay where I have my case here I need this Okay, it's working, it's not broken. <laughs> and now we can try if we can charge the battery. What I have here. Okay, it's charging. You can be seen it better. You can see better now. Okay, now. Okay, and I, I I'm going to put a video again. Sound. I don't know if this game has sound. Okay, now. Okay, you can listen the speaker. And oh, yes, because I haven't. I have to touch here. And I have here a sound. USB adapter. One second. This is a USB from USB to jack uh, audio connector. This is analogic one. It's super important. You use an analogic one. You cannot put any any sound uh, electronic components inside of the USB. You need to buy the the cheaper one, the analogic one. And then you can put here, and I hope this works. Okay, it's working. Both of them, I don't know where I have the microphone, I think here. Okay, and when I remove, sound again in the SP. So this is, oh, I should, I should have turned off the video in first, anyway. Is the 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 utility of this board? You can use now the USB C for charging your video game and also listen the sound with uh, your earphones and this adapter. What to do with this? You can use this plastic and you can put here. Okay. Or oh, maybe it's better here. Like this. And I'm going to close the case. And the last one.
Oops, I forgot the battery. The rain. The cover. Okay. This doesn't have light. Okay, now it's turned on, almost finished the battery, I can I can connect the earphones. Disconnect and I can get the battery and charge it. Of course in both ways. Now it's all. Thank you.